Now we will assemble the displacement deposition tool for the Model 2. We'll start by using the drive interface board, two snap motors, and two four millimeter internal bore gears. Take the motor and place it underneath the drive interface. Using the screws that came with the snap motor, secure it to the drive interface. Now that the motors are secure, take two square nuts and place them into the T-slots on either side of the motor. These will be used later. Next, take a four millimeter internal bore gear and place it over the shaft. Make sure that the shaft has the flat side facing through the groove. Place the gear on so that the set screw is facing through the groove. That way it is in line with the flat side of the shaft. Tighten it using a 1.25 millimeter Allen hex wrench so it is secured onto the shaft. Now that these are secure, we will begin the next step. Now we will take the syringe holder plate and slide it over the motors. Initially, this will be a tight fit. It will slide gently over the aluminum part. Take one side of the motor tool assembly and align the plates to fit into the grooves. Press them down gently. Now we will take the lower drive support plate and put two square nuts into it. Find the side where they slide in easiest. Place them so they are flush on one side, protruding on the other. Take the flush slide and put it against the drive interface plate and slide this down until it locks into place on the other side. Next, we take the opposite side plate and place it onto the assembly. Now we will assemble the drive mechanism. You'll need a six millimeter internal bore gear and a M3 internal threaded thumb nut. Take the nut and place it in the bottom of the gear. Loosen the set screw so it fits in completely. Then tighten the set screw until it can move no more and is securely attached to the nut. Once this is done, take one of the three millimeter internal bore ball bearings and place it into the groove on the top of the gear. We now have assembled the drive mechanism. Repeat for the other drive. Take the drive mechanisms and place them from the top into the drive interface board. Make sure that they line up with the teeth of the opposing gear. Then take the upper drive support mechanism and place it on top of the tool. It is important that the holes line up all the way through so that you can see through on both sides. If you cannot see through, you'll have to, you have placed the lower drive interface board improperly and will need to remove one side and rotate it around. Next, you'll take the syringe support and place it in between the motor and into the syringe holder. Once it is in place, you'll want to leave the base plate off. However, you'll want to take the M3 threaded rod and measure out a length going from the base to a little bit above the top, about one thumb's width. The exact length doesn't matter as long as you leave sufficient room on the top. You want to cut it and make two identical ones for the drive interface. Once this is done, 
we will take three of these screws. We'll take two and place them on the top. One facing towards the inside. And one above it, facing outward. Tighten these together so that they're jammed together. Once they're, this is cut, we'll take one of these nuts and secure it facing inward on this side after you have passed this rod through the drive mechanism and have secured it. This will allow you to secure it to the syringe. Once you have placed that in, take the base plate, attach it to the bottom, and secure the entire apparatus with square nuts and screws.